I have been getting all kinds of questions about the baby. So I think everyone is looking for a baby update. So today I thought that's what we're gonna do. So I am part of this really cool community. Uh, there's a Facebook group that you can post on that is for Nebraska foster parents. And also I am part of a foster mom group where um, there's just a few of us that are part of the group and we talk all the time about just the ups and the downs and what's going on and behaviors and um, and that is priceless to have. So if you're a foster parent, see if you can find a foster parent group to be a part of because that has really helped um, in all of our ups and downs with foster care. With that being said though, I am able to go out and let everybody know like on our Facebook page and um, in our foster mom group, you know, what's going on and then people always chip in to help. So I want to show you, I have a friend, her name is Christy and she's part of my foster mom group um, and she gave me all kinds of things for the baby, which was amazing of her. And then also Laura, who used to be a foster parent, um, she pitched in and gave us a car seat. And I want to show you everything that um, we've had help with because I just think that the sense of community is just so amazing. And so let me go show you what we've got. Okay, so here are all the things uh, that we were given. Okay, not that this is our magnet bag, but uh, the bathtub, the totes, the um, trash bag full of, I think, diapers and clothes and the car seat, and then there's some even clothes in the car seat. And so we've got all of this stuff here. So I am going to go through some of this and see what's in it because I haven't even looked yet. So Gavin and Christian are over here playing with some toys I pulled out of the garage that I had packed. Um, Christian actually is starting to play with some toys, which is nice. And he was really excited to see his tote full of stuff. So they're over here playing. But so this car seat, uh, such a nice car seat. I mean, it almost looks brand new. And uh, it's, it's like super heavy. And I just, what a great car seat. And she gave this to me for free. And uh, of course we always, we always donate all of our items after we're done. So we just pass them along to the next person that needs them, usually foster parents. Not always, but um, so that was so nice of her. She also got me the bathtub, which I'll get out here in a second. But there's some clothes here I have sitting on my lap that uh, were in the car seat. I'm gonna take a look at those. So here's what I got quite a bit more than I thought was in that car seat. Um, so a lot of onesie or uh, I got a bunch of white onesies here and a bib. That I, I love these little brother things. Um, I've got the bib over here and then there's a little shirt over here that says little brother on it too. And I think those are so cute. Um, and then like the little dinosaur and um, the little bear right there. And then that one says little brother on it too. And uh, these things, they're just so cute. And they're so tiny, you forget how small they are. And then there's the bathtub that we can use. And so I wanna say thank you to Laura for uh, giving us all of this stuff because that was just so nice of her. I have some kids here who are interested in helping me. <laughs> and um, we're gonna go through, first we're gonna go through this bag here. Well, let's see what's in there. I don't even know what's in there yet. Diapers. So. Diapers. Diapers. I get the next one. Um, 350. Mom. More diapers. Oh. Open. Okay. So size three diapers. And it's 15. That's when he's a little bit bigger. Another. Put those with the diapers. Diaper. Oh, is that a whole bag of diapers? Oh my gosh. This sheet. Yeah. I think it's on my Oh, sheets. Those are cute. Look at that. And here's the other sheet. Okay. Let's leave that in there though. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So sheets and diapers. And wow, yeah. look at everything in here. Okay, so now we know what's in here. Let's set up that off and let's see what's in this coat right here. Hey, there's some bottles. Let me drink out of them. Mom, look, it's a baby bag. A baby bag, there's nice. Blanket. Oh, that's a car seat cover. That's for when it's cold outside and you have to cover the car seat. What is in here? What is that? 
Paige. Oh, it's a diaper changing mat. Oh. <laughs> you lay that out when you have them um, um, uh, somewhere that you yeah, like, either don't have your changing table well, yeah, or yeah. like a gas station. You can lay the mat down. There's there's more do bottles. And okay, more bottles. A, yeah, oh, a book. Everything get ready, baby. For book. baby book. Can I read Is it first? You can Is read it, it sure. like how to Mom, look. Oh, that's a dish. Mom, what <laughs> to is take this? snacks. Oh, 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 look at how tiny those are. This is so soft. Yeah, that's so soft. Look, it's a camera. Ooh, it is it really soft. Same. There's a camera oh. on there. Aww. Oh, I it's a baby mat. It's a little baby mat. It's, I think it was like a trolley. <laughs> or like Oh my me. gosh, that's what you used to be like, Gavin. No, uh, burp, burp, burp rag, yep. Yeah. Burp rags. What do you do nice. this on your back? Um, you put it on your shoulder. Well, yep, and then you put the baby on there. Oh, and because babies, when you carry them and you're like trying to get some, you do this because all the bulb on you. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So if they spit up a little bit, it's oh, nice. It's another blankie. Blankies. Oh, a little sweater. Look at this one is full of clothes. Okay, so I really like this. Oh, that's cute. Look, is that an elephant? I love elephants. And then there was this Look at this little hat. One. This little hat's cute. Uh, look at this. It's a dog pajamas. Oh, little puppy jammies. I love dogs. You do. They're, you and Jade both. Mm -hmm. They're my first hey, favorite animal. Cute. Unicorn is second. What's your second? Oh, unicorn is your second? Yeah. Okay. Oh, look. Oh, look at that. Shoes. Surf's up. Because <gasps> we live by the ocean. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Gavin thinks he's got a new Captain America shield. And this is mine. <laughs> and this is mine. Oh, that's your shield? Yeah. Okay, so Christy, my friend Christy is the one who gave us all of this stuff. She actually has a large family like us too. Not quite as many kids, but she has a lot of kids. So wh what do we tell Christy? Thank you. Yes, thank you, Christy, for all of this stuff. This is absolutely amazing. And... Uh, I know I can always count on you. Christy always is there to help pitch in when we need something. And she has been amazing. So thank you, Christy. So I have been getting a lot of questions about what's going on with the baby. So I thought we'd do an update. And um, I want to go back a little bit. So we had one of our birth moms um, deliver a baby. We thought we still had a few months left and that wasn't the case. Uh, she ended up going earlier than she thought she was gonna go. Um, it seemed like it was a full term pregnancy. He was like six pounds, two ounces, and about 18 and a half inches long, mm -hmm. so full size. And we, um, they did, okay, so they did go ahead and they did a removal. Um, for him. There is something called adjudication where they actually say yes the this child should be in foster care and um, that is not until the end of July but um, they did kind of like a temporary where they are saying you know that yes he should stay in the state's custody at this time which of course because we know you know she's left him at the hospital. He, he was in the hospital for um, two weeks and um, I was told that was due to some feeding issues. He was wanting to eat too fast and, um, and then he would kind of like gasp for air and they wanted to make sure that that was under control. Um, what else? He, he was born with an infection in his eyes. Yeah. Now, let me tell you, it is so hard to get information um, because we technically uh, are not a party to the case because he is not in our care, and even though they know he's coming to us, um, we are, we're still not a part of the case yet. And so getting information is tough. Plus the caseworkers, the GALs, everybody, they're like right. so overworked. Yeah, yeah, and they were initially, he was initially given to you know one caseworker that was temporary yeah the investigator yeah and then so we were kind of in between for a while there yep. and the new caseworker hadn't really fully got on board with everything yeah. and wasn't authorized to talk so 
you know, a couple of weeks go by, you really don't hear much, but we did get an update. Yep, so we have gotten some more pictures um, of him, and we did, uh, I've talked, I've spoken with the GAL, and this is the GAL that was on our last case, and it's nice when you have people that are the same, um, because they know you, and so um, a lot of the people, like the judge is the same, and everybody's mm -hmm. the same, that was for Christian. Which helps. Yes, and that does help. Um, so we thought, that maybe he would be able to go with um, his great grandma. So this it's grandma to the birth mom. And she's the one that we talk to all the time. Mm -hmm. And she was not able to take him because the place that she lives at uh, just would not allow her to have him there. An infant. Yeah, an Crying, infant. And I get that. Yeah, and I do it's too. The senior I home. Too. And yep. And, you know, it's too bad because she really wanted to take him and uh, and she just wasn't able to. And it would have been nice to have him with family, but uh, he is with foster parents in Iowa. <clears throat> and um, I have heard very good things about the foster parents. The only thing that I'm a little confused about is that they don't want to talk to us. And, uh, well, that's what we've been told anyways, is that uh, they aren't interested in giving their information out so we can communicate with them about the baby. And so everything is having to go through the caseworker. So um, we are not able to get a whole lot of information. We do know that he does have um, some medical things that they are concerned about. And so there will have to be some checkups on right. our end. Um, mm -hmm. They're just watching him close to make sure um, that he doesn't have something that could potentially be there. So not that he has anything wrong, just that they're watching to make sure he doesn't um, have something. So so we do know that. We um, are at a point now where everybody's saying that it's important for him to come start bonding with us. So we are going to do a 30 day visit and I believe we're gonna go pick him up um, at the beginning of June sometime. Uh, the, they really wanna get the ICPC paperwork completed and um, I thought we could do a, a video on, on ICPCs because ICPCs can be so confusing. Yeah. And so uh, in one of our next videos, uh, our upcoming videos, we'll do an ICPC video. But I see the ICPC paperwork is being done. She wants to get it submitted before they let us have a visit because you only get so many days, so we get 30 days, and then we're hoping that ICPC is done so he doesn't have to leave then. Right. Because right. if it's not done, um, we'd have to ask for an extension on the visit, and I don't know if we'd get that. And um, yeah. so... So it sounds like the goal is right now that the ICPC paperwork should be completed in entirety by the 1st of June is what I think she said she was shooting yes, for. Yes, yes. Yes, so the paperwork done and submitted. So um, then we just have to wait for it to go through our state and then they have, you know, then it goes back and um, it has to be approved by both states. Right. So we are waiting on that. And because Nebraska and Iowa, they really work so well together, we're hoping that by adjudication, which is at the end of July, um, that that is done. But then you, you, know, you still have to go through um, the permanency hearing and the TPR hearing and, yeah. and then get to the adoption. And um, so there is a lot of things that have to happen. Yeah, and from what we understand, the courts are backed up because, yeah. because of COVID and different things, so. And yeah. A, I think maybe, I don't know if it's because of COVID that they're so short staffed. Oh, that could be. Um, I know that there are a lot of people that have quit and so they're low on a lot of staff. Yeah. I think and that's all over the United States though. Yeah. And that seems to be a pattern, you know, we've done it for seven years now, eight, yeah, eight, eight years, years. Um, is that the turnover rate in this uh, community of workers, the, the case workers, the yeah. supervisors, they're either moving up or moving on or just get burned out. Um, and I think we've touched on that before. Yep. So we kind of expect some of it, but um, yeah, it's just a process. And there's so yeah. many hoops that have to get jumped through. And yeah, and you have to make sure like you dot all the I's and cross all the T's because if there's even one thing that yeah. isn't done right, yeah. it has to be all redone. And yeah, and supposedly they've already put the notice out to the mom and dad, the bio mom and dad. Yeah, that was something even... that was, yeah. So you have to, when you don't know who the birth dad is, you have to publish on them, like publish it in a paper. Mm -hmm. And um, 
And then there's like something called reasonable efforts that you have to make with birth parents um, to make sure that they don't want the child. And yeah. um, and you can get, like we can get those waived. We can ask to have those waived and then that has right. to be approved. So yeah, there's, there's so many things I feel like behind the scenes that have to happen. But we are excited that at the beginning of June, we, we hopefully, hopefully get to go pick the little guy up and yeah. meet him for the very first time. Everyone's super excited, yeah. um, including us. And so that will be fun to pick him up. You know, it's, uh, you forget, I go through all these clothes and how tiny they are. And, mm -hmm. you know, I look at Christian and he's, he's so big and it wasn't yeah. that long ago. He was that tiny. <laughs> and we have gotten some pictures of him just recently. Yeah. So he's, yeah, he looks like a healthy baby yeah, boy. He so does. we're really, really happy about that. He, it's funny to me because all the kids in this sibling group look so different, except for Gavin. I feel like Gavin and Christian look a lot alike. Um, but this new baby, uh, looks different, but he does remind me a little bit of Jade. Yeah. Yeah. So he's yep. got the um, fair complexion and the um, brown, like lighter brown hair. Yeah. Like her, like she has. Yep. So, um, but that is all I think for, yeah. yeah, that's all I can think of right now. Yep. We're just uh, on the phone as much as we can <laughs> trying yeah. to push things uh, because they're overloaded with cases and yep. it always helps if there's anybody out there that is going through any of this stuff. It helps to kind of uh, be the squeaky wheel, you yeah. know, yeah. at least once or twice a week call and follow up on these people. If they yep. said they were going to do something, see if you can't get a copy of it. See if yep. it's gone okay. Do they need anything from us? Right. And you try and be helpful, but at the same same time, you're trying to make sure that they uh, that they know that we're watching yeah. and we're wanting, you know, mm. things to be expedited if possible. Yeah, I try not to be overly pushy um, because I don't want them to be you know, upset with me. But I also want to be at the forefront of their mind. So probably once or twice a week, you know, uh, yeah, I have their phone numbers I can text. I have their emails I can email. And I'm um, just making sure that my questions get answered because I feel like there's a lot of questions. You know, um, some of the questions like I, I wanted to know if he had left the hospital with a name and he did not. Uh, he left the hospital as baby boy on his birth certificate. Um, so we were not able, but the foster parents are calling him the name that we have Good. Um, asked. Good. Yeah, yep. That. yep. And so we, we will let you guys know once we officially get him here and everything, we'll let you know what we have picked for a name. Uh, but you know, questions like that, like all of his medical stuff, I've asked for re medical records and hopefully we can get those. Mm -hmm. So we know more about what's going on with him. And um, there's just a lot of things that I feel like we'd like to know and so just staying on top of them sometimes yeah helps helps yep. yep so that is it for our update guys if you have questions maybe that i haven't thought of um comment down below and we will try to answer those in upcoming videos yep. but we see you guys in the next one see ya bye